Hello, my name is Stefan. I'm from Germany and I'm working for a company called Hermes. At Hermes, we introduced DevOps about four years ago now, and we are quite happy with the path we took. And today, I'd like to share with you some insights of our journey. Part of our journey was to measure the success of DevOps. I'd like to start with some short introduction and then discuss what success means, at least in our environment. I'd like to introduce the metrics we are using and like to conclude with some takeaways, hoping to inspire you for your own journey. Let's dive into the introduction. Hermes Group is the largest post-independent parcel company in Europe. We have subsidiaries in multiple countries, and Hermes Germany alone delivers about 500 million parcels per year. Besides private customers, our typical clients are medium and large e-retailers. In this environment, we have a market that is growing with 5 to 10% per year. That means that we need to cope with an ever-increasing amount of parcels. This in turn means that we need to automate everything possible, and that is key to our business. Our customers and business clients expect digital innovations to be happy, happier customers or to foster their own businesses. Having worked with Hermes for 10 years now, I can clearly say there's no business without technology. And in this environment, the question is, what is success? First factor clearly is to be able to focus on bringing value. And that sounds simple and obvious. And those of you working in larger enterprises with lots of different interests competing with each other know what I'm talking about. Another factor is the ability to provide value faster, to remove technical and organizational burdens, to have everything in place that we need to provide value. And another success factor is, as a tech organization, to be a reliable partner in the company, be someone to trust. I have an example I want to introduce to you. We have two projects on the diversion of parcels. So to redirect parcels if you're not at home to your garage, to the neighbor, to the parcel shop. And those two, pro those two projects have similar sizes, similar complexity, similar stakeholders, and even similar topic to deal with. And the first project took place seven years ago in the old working system. We had Scrum by then, but I would probably not call it Agile, at least not today. But we had no idea of pipelining of automation. And this project took us nine months, if, if not longer. And the second project, which we conducted last year, with the current working system, with a good understanding of automation, of delivery pipelines, of fast flow of work, with feedback mechanisms, it took us four months. Probably you cannot speed it up even further, at least not by that degree. So if we would speak in seven years, it probably wouldn't be two months. But what you can see here is that the effort to enhance the working system pays off really quickly. But it's important to note that enhancing the working system is not only about speed. That's not only because value is more important than speed, but it's also since delivering tech products is no sprint, which is finished after 100 meters, but it's rather an endless marathon running kilometer after kilometer after kilometer. This is why I like this agile principle, which was written more than 20 years ago. It says, keep constant pace indefin indefinitely. 
which means listen to yourself, listen to your organization, find out how fast you can work, but don't work faster. Find a pace you can keep, you can best work at. And by saying that, and by aiming at that, we found two problems in our organization that we wanted to work on. First of all, we didn't know how long a larger piece of software, a larger piece of work would take. So can we improve our estimates? Can we generate more reliable estimates? Can we improve ourselves? And second question is, we put lots of effort into introducing continuous delivery. And can we prove that that really paid off? And by asking these two questions, you have to understand that DevOps itself moved from a grassroots movement to a general direction for our tech organization. And we are getting frequently asked by our top management if all the effort is really worth it, if it really needs this modern way of working. So we regularly need to prove that we are on the right track. And we sometimes even need to defend. We then decided to shine a light on the system of work to better understand what is going on. And that was really good to make the situation transparent, to share this transparency with everyone in the organization, because that helped to feel the pain together. 